Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm out at Beaver Creek in Virginia, and I did bring a friend that's learning how to fly fish, so I figured this would be a great place to teach him. Not going to show that, but I'm going to fish a little bit on my own, so let's get to it. There's one. That's a nice fish. Nice rainbow came up and ate the streamer just off that rock. So I'm just working the seam. There's a bunch of fast water coming through. And then they should be hanging out right next to the fast water on the seam. I'm fishing deep, a few subtle jigs out of the fish, a few subtle jigs, and then this fly should be bouncing up and off the bottom. It's a good sculpting imitation, uh, especially for rainbows. Rainbows really like this fly. You can also just dead drift it, like so. There's a fish. That's a nice fish. He ate it as it was a. Uh, soon as it got to the bottom up there, he must have been sitting a little bit higher up. <laughs> that is a strong fish. There's one. Oh, he followed it all the way out into the current right here. That's a good fish. <laughs> Hopping over the tree. That's a good fish. Definitely putting a bend in this three weight. Come here. He won't bring his head up. Generally when you want to try and land big fish, you want to bring their head up like that. So that way it's a little bit easier to bring them into the net. So that's a good fish right there. That fish has been in the river for a while. Man, that's what fishing active presentations and streamers, that's why it's so much fun for me. I really love seeing those fish chase it all the way through the current and then finally decide to eat it. And the eats are very ferocious sometimes, like that one. Really saw that fish flash on is cool. There's one. Little guy. Uh, little chub. Man, two chubs on the streamer. The other one was a lot bigger. But... Man, he's acrobatic. Little guy. I think that today is just chub day. First cast on this little seam. He ate that right on the seam right here. He ate the bottom wall worm. It's a good fish. Put this 
his head up. Right in the net. That's a good fish. On that little wall. I don't have a net. I ate the nymph. He actually came up a bit. I thought he was eating the dry, but he ate the nymph. I know it's hard to see, but I was actually using a dry dropper at the time. And after looking at the footage, this fish came up, ate the dry, but I missed the hook set, but then the nymph below got pulled right into the fish's mouth. Let me know if this has ever happened to you, cause that was pretty crazy. There's one. Thought I was snagged on a rock. And then I was snagged on a rock. I was snagged on a rock and then his fish ate it. <laughs> nice little rainbow. There he goes. Oh! He ate the streamer. That was so cool. I did not expect that. <laughs> That's a good fish. He ate that lunch money, that's cool. I had a fun time out on Beaver Creek and my friend was able to catch his first trout on the fly. I used a bunch of different setups, but the streamer did best in the morning and evening with nymphing working well around midday. Thanks for watching.